Pre-Ability Class Week 2, we're going to be introducing uh, the clicker so we can do some shaping with our dogs. We need to be able to shape our dogs to help us with the um, body awareness skills. But the game I'm going to be doing here can just be played by any dog, anywhere. You don't need to be doing um, agility. You just need a clicker and you need treats. It's a really fun game to play and it really makes the dogs go into um, using their brain to think about what they need to get, do to get the reward. So, if you've never used a clicker before, very simple, you go click, treat, click, treat, click, treat. We want to condition them that that sound equals good things. So, I know in the basic obedience class a lot of your dogs already are familiar with the touch game, but to play this game, I don't want you to say touch until we're halfway through. So in the beginning, all you do is click, treat. I tend to say yes, just out of habit. There's no downside if you want to pair the click and the, the yes at the same time. Yes. So obviously Lila's really good at this game. So when they're consistently touching your the center of your hand or your fingers when you drop your hand, yes, you're ready to move on to giving the behavior a name. The behavior's name is touch. So every time they touch, they get a click and a treat. More times. Touch. Treat. Touch. Treat. Touch. Treat. Okay? So, when you've done that consistently, this is where the thinking goes into the brain. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop my hand, but I'm not going to say the word T O U C H. If my dog comes forward and um, touches my hand, because I didn't ask for it, the dog is not going to get the treat. And I'm going to go between the two. So I'm going to start off with a touch. Okay, now this time I don't say the word, so she's got no treat. Got no treat because I didn't ask for it. Touch. She got a treat because I asked for it. So no reward, touch, reward, no reward, no reward, no reward, yes, good. So finally she started thinking about what I was uh, not asking for and she didn't do it. Oh, freebie on the floor, let's try again. Touch. No reward. No reward. Touch. It might actually be uh, easier for your dog. Mine's like played this for so many years. Yes, that your dogs will probably pick up on the don't do the behavior quicker than what mine does. She's just so used because we play touch, 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 touch a lot. So she's normally one step ahead, but I want to get her to the stage. Good. Where she stops acting the behaviors. Good.
good. I'll go with that. Because you get back up a little bit. Touch. Yes. My bad. Didn't click fast enough. Touch. My bad again. Didn't click fast enough. So slow again. So now I'm going to Good. Okay, so she backed off. Nice, good. Touch. Give me touch. Yes. Okay, it's taking her longer than it normally does to figure this out. Yes. God. Touch. Yes. Good. Nice. Good girl. She's figured it out. If I don't say the word, it won't get her a treat. Ooh. Good. Okay, now I'm going to transfer back to touch, touch, good, touch, good. So I'm not going to say the word. Nice. Good. Oh, my fault. If you click by mistake, you have to trick. Okay? It's a really fun game to get your dogs um, thinking what they should be doing or shouldn't be doing, okay? So just get that little brain into, instead of overdrive excitement, let them cool down and think the problem through. That was good.